So this is all the stuff that they used inside a cannon. That was to scoop the powder. That is a charge, the one that says 18. And then this over here contains nine cannonballs that would break apart when it fires and release the plates so that the balls can come out. These sponges were used to clean out the cannon between each shot and that was the fuse that was used. And these are the big and small cannonballs. Those things were used to plug the cannon and then it will keep up the water. There's a nice view of the sea <laughs> and some people. So this painting here depicts the route that they traveled from Portugal to India to get spices and how Cape Town was the stopping point back in the day. Though no refreshment station was built back then. Then in 1510, there was a clash here in the Cape between the locals and the Portuguese. This is what this painting is about. And then this was the distribution of the koi on the coastline. So let's start off with the fort that was built by Jan van Riebeek that doesn't exist anymore. It's now known as the Grand Parade and it's across the road from the castle. So this was built in 1652 or started built in 1652 and uh, it was made out of clay and wood and sand and unfortunately every time it rained during the rainy season the castle would disintegrate so Jan van Riebeek sent a request for a new castle to be built and that's the castle that we're now standing in that was started in 1666 and it was finished 13 years later the outside part that's the outside wall with the five bastions and the living quarters. The rest of the place was built over a period of years uh, that I'll get to shortly. So this is the castle of Good Hope that was built in 1666. These are the five bastions. Starting from there is Leerdam, Oranja, Bieren, Katzen Ellenbogen, and Nassau, I think, if I have them correct. Anyway, those are the names. Those are the correct names, I just don't know if I have the right bastions. I know that's Leerdam, for sure, and that's Katzenellenbuchen. The rest, just mix and match. The middle part of the castle was later added, and that part there was built in 1705 as the Bacchus, and that's also where the pool is located. This is where the governor lived, this is the part where the second-in-command lived, and this part here used to be the original entrance, this is the current entrance. The reason this is no longer the entrance, as you can see, they actually show the sea here. Now, from here to where the sea is now is about, I don't know, five or 600 meters, because the Dutch did what they're best at, and that's reclaiming land. So they took all the seawater away. Now, this entire area here was flooded at a certain point, and that's when they requested that the entrance be moved from there to there. On top there is the bell tower also, and this little part here, believe it or not, was the tallest building in South Africa or in Cape Town for 150 years. Tallest. As you can see, all the cannons mainly faced towards the sea for a sea attack, and then there were also some cannons pointing inland in case an attack came from the mountains. This is the moat around the castle but it only covers that front part because there was seawater here and of course the mountain at the back. So this is a model of the type of ship they used to actually travel here. Quite detailed, brilliant work this guy did. There's the cannons, the storage area. And then the captain's quarters and stuff here at the back. Oh, 
floor is creaky. This is the Amsterdam battery. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it looks like a bunch of cannons to protect things. I've never heard of this before, so I need to get into some history of that. The Battle of Musenberg, when they gave up to the British. These are some of the swords that they used back in the day. Some of the guns. And then this massive gun. Some more swords. Some more guns. I'm not a gun person, so this doesn't interest me that much. Some of the outfits they wore. Some crazy spear action. That's basically the military museum. Let's go do some more tour.